no further. If I continue like the dark... I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In What's my up guys? Self-deception. It's a bounce on next. I'll go back to a brand new episode. I don't wait. Now you said uh, light boy. Sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. <laughs> I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. I'm a fuck. Need some drugs in me? The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. <laughs> there was a message waiting for me on the machine. No okay, QR cool. Uh, let me explore the house real quick. Ooh, nice little house. If you ask me, uh, I hate that. I ain't gonna lie. I hate having to turn my head to look at the TV. Like, I'm sorry, but imagine you just sitting like this, and you gotta turn your neck all the way over here. Like, no, bro. Like, we gotta have like some type of circular couch going on around here he's got a random chair right here what the hell hey guys it's a way in the area to be inside the house i mean yeah you have one new message ow are you still asleep wakey wakey you should have your show on your tivo if alice wasn't too mad to record it that she called me <laughs> See, man, you better check her, man. I'm not holding out there. That's for dead. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best selling author, Alan Wake. Hey, it's me. My beard, dead. Sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Now, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No. Nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad you're back <laughs> home in New York. Boy, you've certainly been on the news a lot. I'm just I'm just dead ass too thin. <laughs> I'm not even saying that. I'm just too thin, actually. Famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your 
latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. Yes, sir. Two of you out there have it funny. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for a Sam. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. At least I That's my pain. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Alright, you yeah, dickhead. Oh my god. Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. I not like how his eyes are just piercing white through the glasses like that. Shit, creepy. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take Whoa. a look. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. If actually you just ready to just throw her life out like that, I'm like, go ahead, my buddy, what I do? It was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Wait, but right the lake not there right now? Wait, but he did leave? Uh, I don't know. Zane's Lake. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Uh, got to see it through, my boy. Got to see it through, my boy. Definitely nearing the end of this game, man. Oh, man. This game was so fun. Not gonna lie. Definitely going 100% this time. Man, I didn't get that. It's just right here. Oh, my God. I got the car so slow. You know I love robbing and stealing. Grand Theft Auto. Uh, get to it, man.
Bright Falls Dare Festival. Uh oh. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Wow. It's like that, what's in it? I will kill your wife. What the? Come on. I know this sounds unlikely, but I hope there's a chance. For melee copy. The dark presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. How many on this? I think tried to throw the most I seen yet. Yeah, all that. Let's see. Oh, chapter three for so. Oh yeah, chapter three for so. I think I was the one that was just fucking long as shit. Oh, we got the big light. I didn't even pee. Are these cars, cars, cars? How did it make it dark though? Like that. We're done. Gotta be something here, right? This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Creator's dream. Could have fooled me, pal. Oh, sir. <laughs> Was there? Ugh. Not getting me. Oh, fuck. Wait. <laughs> Hey man, all I know that wasn't getting me, man. Any more inanimate objects that want to hit me? Objects. What the hell? Mm. 
Oh my god. Any more? Any more? down there I'm turning a corner at that oh, okay, let me get behind here real quick <laughs> uh, die Come on. I need another car though. Oh, 
thing, man. Are they infinitely spawning? The lake had yeah, it fucked me up. Another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago cracked airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, and didn't even notice. Oh, help me up again, please. Thank you, light. Thank you, sweet, sweet light. Thank you, sweet, sweet light. This way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you got, you got weapon catch for me, my boy? Cheat me, yo. Oh, they try to cheat me, yo. What the hell? If I do sir ski He started cheating me though yo the kids kept shoving me Come on now You ain't gotta do me like that God. Come on, 
Hadi ya bu. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water. A sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Bro, that guy be the scariest thing, bro. It's forever going down the water, like. I don't know what's scarier. Being lost in space? Or being st stuck deep underwater that never ends like that. Like, what is scarier? Honestly. Done. Hey, why are you running? Oh, what you doing, son? Eh? I mean, had two weapons and everything. Oh, he wasn't expecting me to fire anything. Come on now. Come on now. What is that? Ow. Is it too late? <laughs> Don't go off on me, I switch. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. <laughs> Sounds like a plan of a lunatic. Follow. Oh. Uh, you heard that? It sounded like a plan of a lunatic. I look at him like, boy, what are you seeing? I'll be on my, uh, what's that lady name? She got to get her name. Zine's lover type time. You stay in that well lit room. Man, he's strong as shit. Uh, let me let me breathe. No enemies, please. Uh, at this point, I might as well switch to the. Shotgun, just kind of got more ammo. I will never give her to you. I don't know what the hell's going on. 
going on? Come here, boy. Man don't play dope games. Yeah, we how some of these drones gonna be on nightmare mode. The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid, it flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me, the words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. Really? Should have died that first shot. I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. So if I make it there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 